From glaciers to sand dunes, the physical geography of this place makes the Cheyenne National Grassland an excellent example of nature's power on the northern plains. The region's geography influences how various cultures developed in this region, and today we will explore the region's deep history. Before it was a land of rolling hills and open prairies, the Cheyenne National Grassland was locked under ice. During the final period of the most recent ice age, from about 115,000 to 11,000 years ago, a massive ice sheet covered the northern reaches of the continent. Known as the Laurentide Ice Sheet, the power of moving ice carved where we are today in the Red River Valley. This area of southeastern North Dakota was created by a massive southern glacial lobe of the ice sheet, in which today flows the Red River. As the climate warmed and the glaciers retreated northward, giant lakes were left behind, such as the Great Lakes. Here at the Cheyenne National Grassland, we were once in the center of an ancient glacial lake called Lake Agassiz. This lake had an area larger than all of the current Great Lakes combined. Lake Agassiz existed from about 30,000 to 10,000 years ago, and at its peak was over 130 miles wide and 600 feet deep. Starting as a small creek, Filled with glacial sediment, the nearly 600 mile long Cheyenne River, which runs through the northern section of the Cheyenne National Grassland, gradually widened over the centuries, cutting away the land and creating distinct landscape features. The soils deposited by the Cheyenne River are from the ancient lake bed of Lake Agassiz. This directly contributes to the fertility found in the soil throughout the grasslands. In addition to small rolling hills which make up this entire area, there are blowouts composed of glacial sediment. You may notice these throughout the landscape. Blowouts are composed of sandy sediments from both the rivers and the ancient glacial till. These are created when surface vegetation is disturbed by plowing, erosion, or grazing animals. Blown by strong prairie winds, blowouts may either form dunes or great sand pits, and today are home to a variety of unique species. All of these geographic features help create the rolling hills and rich soils of this place. The woodlands and tall grass created a habitat for a variety of species, such as the bison, deer, and pronghorn. The physical geography of the Cheyenne National Grassland also created an ideal settlement location for First Peoples. These included the Dakota Sioux, the Cheyenne, and the Ojibwe communities. Later, white settlers would find the soils in this fertile lands prime for growing grains and raising livestock. Both the natural and cultural history of this place that so many recreate in today is connected deeply to the region's geographic history. As the climate and natural landscape continue to change, we must ask ourselves what will be the future of the Cheyenne National Grassland.